what's up YouTube, Zabba's Little Water here, bringing you a UU battle today. Uh, my opponent's team looks pretty standard. Swampert, which is def usually defensive with hazards. Yin Xiao, which is almost always offensive. I mean, I have never seen any kind of defensive set. Crobat, probably offensive, defensive. I've seen physically defensive Crobats, and they actually work pretty well. Umbreon, which is most likely specially defensive. Could be physically, but that's rare. Honchkrow, complete powerhouse with its... Uh, Prankster and Priority and Massive Attack stat, and the fact that it gets Moxie. And Hitmontop, which is usually defensive, however, I myself run a, f a offensive one with uh, Substitute, so we'll have to see what it is. So enough with the preview, let's get to it. My opponent today is Mr. Steve Blazer, who I met on the Smogon Wi-Fi Battlefinder. I'm going to lead off with my Victini as per usual, as he's going to start off with a Swampert. Now, wanting to avoid the Earthquake, or possible, well, really, just the Earthquake. Uh, well, actually, Waterfall or Scald would do a lot of damage, too. Anyway, I predict the Earthquake, go into my bell, since it has Levitate, and I'm just gonna set up my Hazards, as he's going to do the same. So, we exchange Rocks, and, you know, I've got a Spinner, he's got a Spinner, it really just seems like a wasted turn. He's gonna go for the Waterfall, trying to do as much damage as possible to me. I'm gonna go for the Toxic, just to get that off on him, and I'm gonna try and set up my, with my Empoleon now. So, I'm predicting another Waterfall, which Empoleon, I think, quad resist. No, just regular resists. Um, so, I'm going to try and switch out to that. As he switches out to his Hitmontop with an Intimidate on my Bronzong, which, whatever, doesn't really bother me. And, you know, I kind of see this as good setup fodder. He goes for Sucker Punch for some reason. I have no idea why. And I'm going to set up a Substitute, go for my Agility, and he is finally going to get smart and go for a Close Combat. Not to insinuate you were dumb, but you kind of mispredicted there. So, I'm going to just keep setting up my Subs, so that way I can get my Pattaya Boost, or get in range for my Pattaya Boost. And now that he's at, like, minus two, I think, thanks to his Close Combats, uh, he's going to feel the need to switch out and go into his Umbreon. Now, I've done some Calcs before... Like, before I even tried using this set, see if it was viable. And I want to show you all exactly how much a Torrent Pattaya Berry Hydro Pump does to an Umbreon, especially defensive. Yeah, down to the red. That's in a range where a Pattaya Boosted um, Grass Knot should be able to take it out. So I'm going to go for the Agility, kind of predicting the Protect. However, he's going to go for the Foul Play, which is going to... It's not very effective at all, thanks to my steel typing and I'm not offensive. I'm gonna go for another Hydro Pump, knock out his Umbreon, and that is the end of the special wall. And you know what? I'm on a roll. I'm just gonna keep Hydro Pumping. He sends out Mianchao. Thanks to my plus two speed, even if it was Scarfed, I outspeed now, because I think with a Scarf it outspeeds me. Um, I get a crit, did not matter in the slightest. And now he's gonna send out Swampert. So, hey, guess what? Grass Knot. Down goes Swampert and that's the end of that. So I am just tearing through his team with Gloria completely destroying everything in my path. If he, this makes, this is a confusing move. I don't know why he didn't go for Sucker Punch here or why he didn't like send out him on top and go for Sucker Punch considering he's already got prior damage off of my substitute. It seems like, well, right here he goes for the Sucker Punch with his hip on top, but it seems like he should have done that before with his hip on top, gone into Haunch Row and then Sucker Punched again. So I don't know what he was thinking there, but that would have been the optimal play. So, I take out his Haunch Crow, his hip on top, and all that's left on his team is this Crobat. So, I'm going to go for a Hydro Pump. I miss. He goes for Brave Bird. It knocks me out. And, you know what? I figure I should end this battle the way I started it. Not with Victini, because, you know, he U-turned right out, but with Bell, my Bronzong. So, he's going to hit me with a Brave Bird. I'm going to come back with a Gyro Ball, and I am going to end this battle right here and now. So, good game, man. You were just another victim of Empoleon. So let's get to the talk of the day. Today's talk of the day, I want to talk to you guys about something personal. So a friend of mine on YouTube is going through some really hard times right now. Um, for, men for reasons that I'm at not at liberty to mention, he's go he is very distressed. He's going through some really big problems, and I think that he needs a little support. So if you guys want to give your words of encouragement, go ahead and head over to Deku Scrub's channel otherwise known as Leron, and show him your support. Because, you know, he's a really good guy, and lately he's been really, really distressed and under, I'm guessing, under a lot of pressure. 
So if you guys can just give him some words of encouragement, that'd mean a whole lot to me and probably would mean a whole lot to him. So I hope you guys all enjoyed that video. Here's a link for Leron's channel in his annotation. It'll also be the first one you see in the description. And I hope you guys have a great day. Like that video? Why don't you hit the like button or maybe subscribe to my channel? Or better yet, check out the artists who make this all possible.